Previously, we discussed how it's impossible to count atoms because they're just so small. But what we can do is we can weigh them, and that will tell us how many atoms we have. Now, in order to do that, um, we have to develop this tool um, called molar mass. You know what mass is. It's kind of like weight. Um, we'll discuss the differences more in class and in physics. But if you see molar mass, um, you may see that abbreviated um, capital MM, or maybe just simply with one italicized capital M. The molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance. It's measured in grams per mole. So that's how many grams there are for every one mole. Now this unit is extremely important. Don't just um, focus on the number. Try to interpret what these units mean. So if molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance, this is the mass in grams, and this would be the one mole of the substance. So how many grams are there for every one mole? In order to do that, we're going to take three significant figures from the periodic table. To find the molar mass, simply add up the atomic masses of all of the atoms represented in the formula and express the units in grams per mole instead of AMU. You probably remember AMU from a previous chemistry course. It um, stands for atomic mass units. We're not going to do too much with that. Um, we're going to express molar mass in grams per mole. So let's get some practice calculating molar mass. Let's calculate the molar mass for sodium. Well, you'll find sodium on your periodic table here. Notice the mass is 22.99 AMU. Now, do you remember how many sig figs we're taking from the periodic table? That's right, we're taking three. So the number you should record is 23.0. Do you remember what the units are? That's right, they're grams per mole. So here's what this means. If we have 23 grams of sodium, we have one mole of sodium. So if your teacher asked you to get one mole of sodium, how much sodium would you have to weigh out? Yeah, you would have to mass 23 grams of it on a scale or a balance. So if you have one mole of sodium atoms, you will have 23 grams of sodium. How many atoms of sodium do you think you would have? Yeah, th of course. It will be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium because one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So all three of these are equivalent. So if you massed out 23 grams of sodium on a balance or a scale, that means on that balance or scale, you would have this many atoms of sodium. And that would be equal to one mole of sodium. Let's practice another one. Calculate the molar mass of water. Now water, of course, has two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. But there are three atoms. There's two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So this is where counting atoms is extremely important. So find both hydrogen and oxygen on the periodic table. Now hydrogen. We have two hydrogens, and each hydrogen has a mass of 1.01. Take all three sig figs here. So if we have two of them, the total mass of hydrogen should be 2.02. And of course, we have one oxygen, and the mass of oxygen is 16.0. So the total mass of oxygen is 16.0. Using your sig fig rules, add the two of those together. So the molar mass of water is 18.0 
grams per mole, or 18.0 grams for every one mole. So if we have 18 grams of water, that means we have one mole of water. By the way, 18 grams of water is equal to about one sip, one small sip of water. So do you remember this conversion factor here? One mole of water is equal to 18 grams of water, and that would be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Let's practice just one more. Find the molar mass of iodine. Why don't you pause the video and try that yourself. All right, well, here's iodine on the periodic table. The mass is 126.90. So let's take three sig figs. So what would this number be rounded to three sig figs? Okay, we have iodine, but we have two iodines. So 2 times 127. So this number rounded to 3 sig figs is 127. So the molar mass of iodine is 254 grams per mole. Don't forget to include the number and the units. The units are very important, and think about what those units mean. Once again, if we have one mole of iodine, that means we have 254 grams of iodine. And of course, this is I2, so this isn't an atom. In fact, this is a molecule. So how many molecules of iodine will we have? Well, any time we have one mole, we'll, of course, have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of iodine.